I'm the father of, of four children that, that attend the Altaloma School District. Uh, actually, one has moved on since. She's at the, in the Chapey uh, the district at Los Osos High School. Um, the three of them that are still at Stork, one at uh, Altaloma Junior High, doing very well. Um, my oldest, who is at Los Osos, reads at the third grade level. Um, I was looking back through her records the other night, because uh, we just had an IEP, and I go back to second grade, uh, second grade report card, and at that time, she was on pace uh, with everyone else, maybe a little behind, um, but, you know, you started seeing signs. Third grade year is when we first had an IEP, when we, they started noticing that she was falling a little further behind, and she was placed into special ed services, which, if I had to do again, I would never do, um, because my experience with the special ed is they do just enough to keep her or push her along. Had she been kept in the regular grades, um, if she didn't pass, she would have been retained. She would have, she would have repeated another grade. In the special ed, they keep pushing her along. So literally, I've got a ninth grade daughter who reads at a third grade level. Some of her tests that we just had done came back at 2.7 grade level, but yet she keeps getting pushed along. Um, there is a problem with special education. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the answer is. But I do hear a lot about this Lindy Mood Bell training. Um, my daughter is dyslexic. Um, dyslexics think differently. They need to be taught differently. Um, what is being taught at the school? She's gone through Read Naturally. She's gone through Edmark. She's gone through all these different programs. And what I've learned about those as well is it's not an individualized program. It's a program. You sit them in front of a computer. They have them do this program, and there's no individualized instruction or, or direct instructions from the teachers. Um, it's kind of a, a, a cookie-cutter, off-the-shelf program. Here you go. This is your individualized program for, for all these kids in special ed. It's not working. It is not working. You know, I'm college-educated. I own three businesses. I'm not a wealthy man. You know, I, I, make, a, I make a good living. But socioeconomic status does not matter with children. These kids that, that have dyslexia and that have a hard time reading, they're not retarded. And it's funny, looking back through a lot of these IEPs, you know, no one's really said that my daughter's retarded, but I've heard words like borderline. Well, I look at her IQ, in, in some aspects she's got a 115, which is pretty high level in some aspects. And other ones are 30 points different, which is, you know, a, a telltale sign for dyslexia. No one in the school district is, has been taught to deal with <coughs> dyslexics. It's a big problem. It's a very big problem. Um, you know, I don't know what else to say. I, you know, I, I, I came in support of someone that, that I heard was having some issues, and I'm going through the IEP process again right now, and unfortunately, there's a big L word, litigation. And no one wants to do it. That's not what I want to do. But you know what? I need to do something for my daughter. These people need to do something for their daughters. It, it's not right. It, it's not right. 